Hey everybody, Model Man Tom, and here is another look. I think this is the second video in the melting styrene series. I don't have actual acetone, so I went to the supermarket and got this nail polish remover. Check to make sure that they do have acetone in them. For example, I first went to the dollar store and got this crap. And I say crap because it's crap. It doesn't list crap as a uh, ingredient here, but it does list acetone. And the power of this, I had these. This was a full stuffed up jar of styrene. I had that bathing in this for about two weeks. And basically it had just softened it up a little. Not much more. This is about six hours. Granted, it was softened up by the previous two weeks, but that's the power of real acetone. This has been in here for about the same six hours, and you can see there's some nice, really good blobs on the bottom there, and I'm going to stuff those last couple uh, shards in there now. I figured I'd uh, show that off while I was at it. That's a pretty good angle right there. I don't know if it'll be in this part or the next part, but I'm going to use some of this glow-in-the-dark plastic and hopefully kind of seal up some of the seams on here. I should have done that before I actually started all the decals and stuff on that model, but we'll see what it looks like post-facto. I got myself a metal rod here, and these are still kind of uh, rubbery is definitely the word to use for that. Uh, you should be careful when you're scooping this stuff around and you can see here that this is a pretty good I don't know if I'll be able to get the lamp out of there how about that to help out there we go so you can see this is a really nice gooey sort of blobby substance here There's some chunks in the middle of all this stretchy bit. This definitely has a good smell to it. I think it was power, more, much more powerful back in the 70s when I would smell my mom using this stuff. Hopefully I didn't splash any on the model back there. Imagine you should probably be wearing gloves while you do this. I've got plastic gloves, which means this would probably just eat through them fairly quickly. I think there's probably some enamel paint in this. I was hoping I could flip it over, but it doesn't quite want to flip over. but that's okay. Yeah, there's definitely some enamel paint in there. There's flecks all over the bottom. But you gotta love acetone. This is really cool stuff. So once this melts a lot more, I will uh, stretch a little bit onto the mystery ship over there. And we'll take a look at what that's like to repair.